Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is the part three and this is the final part of week number five. Um, so today's um, session will um, go over, briefly go over, how to record basic macros, um, both absolute reference macros and relative reference macros. And I'll also show you another example of a relative reference macro that will be helpful for you. Um, in some scenarios. So with that said, I'm going to jump right in here. First thing we want to do to record a macro is go to the developer tab. If you do not have the develop, excuse me, if you do not have the developer tab enabled um, on your menu, what you want to do is you want to go back over here to the file button, go to options, go to customize ribbon, and go to the customize the ribbon and check the box that says developer and then click OK and then it will be there. Okay, so we're going to jump right in, and I'm going to record a macro here, and we're going to call this, um, let's call this absolute, ABS test for absolute test, which is the default macro type is an absolute reference macro. So I'm going to click OK. I've already done one, so I'm going to override it. And let's see here. So what I want to do, I want to put up here, in cell A1, I'm going to put a name, address, and phone. I can type. Okay. Now I'm going to stop recording. I can either hit that button there, or I can hit the little um, square down here on the bottom of the uh, of the sheet here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and just click this one. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to sheet two, and I'm going to click here. Let's say I want to put it here in cell D1. So I'm going to go back to macros. I'm going to go to ABS test and I'm going to click run. Okay, You notice what it did, it put it back in cells A1 through A3 and that's because it's an absolute reference. No matter where I'm at on the sheet it's going to go back to to where it was originally um, entered because it enters the data exactly as is. In order to get around that if I want to be able to have the flexibility to paste it or put it in a document and, and you know to just basically provide more flexibility I can use what's called the relative reference. So I'm going to go back to sheet number one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and create a relative reference example. So when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click use relative reference. And I'm going to go into macros. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to go into macros. I am going to go into record macro. And I'm going to overwrite the old one in here. So I had REL test. I'm going to create a shortcut key for it, which is R. So I'm going to do Control Shift R. And what that'll do is I can just type Control Shift R rather than going into the macros to find it to run it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to try a different one because I already have one assigned to there. How about um, Control, Sh Control Shift L? And yes, I'm going to override relative test. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put in here, I want to put in name, address, and phone. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to go make it bold and italicized. Now I'm going to go back in here to the developer. I'm going to stop recording. And now if I go in over here, and now I go to this um, sheet 2, and I want to put it uh, here in column F, I can do Control shift l and there it is. It populates it in there, and that's because I use the relative reference. So I could, I could click anywhere and do Control shift l or go back into Macros, find my relative test, and click Run, and there you have it. Okay? The final thing I want to share with you, another example of a relative reference macro. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record another macro, and I'm going to call this one Sales Test. I'm not going to give it a shortcut key. I want to calculate the totals of all the salespeople that comes in on a report every day. So I'm going to type equals sum, open parentheses, my first number that I want to calculate, or the starting number, is right here at cell B1, and I'm going to do shift colon, and now I want to calculate through 
the last row of contiguous data. Rather than just clicking on B5, I want to use the relative reference value. So what I want to do is do control down arrow and that's going to take the cursor down to the selection down to B5 and I'm going to go ahead and hit close parentheses and there you have um, the total right there. So now what I want to do is I want to go back here to this. I want this one to be flexible in the code, the B5. Um, so if we add employees, let's say we have seven employees, we want to go through B7. Or if we have four employees, we only want to go through B4. So now what I want to do is I want to take B1. I always know the data starts at B1, so I'm going to highlight B1 up here in the formula. I'm going to hit F4 and that's going to make that a constant reference to B1. Alright, so now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to stop recording at this point. Okay, so now let's assume you know a week later we have two new employees. So we have, uh, let's see, Sally just started so she's only got $500 in sales and we have um, I know Eric Eric is uh, he's also new he's got $750 in sales so now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just put the cursor I'll leave it here on cell L a9 now I want to go into macros I want to go to sales test and I want to click run and now you see what happened is it went over here and it calculated and actually put it where I want it where right where the cursor was so let me move it right here I'm going to go ahead and run that again and I'm going to say sales test run and there you have it. Um, it dropped it in there. It calculated successfully from B1 now to B7. Likewise I can go over here and I can get rid of um, you know the next report could have six employees or 300 employees. It doesn't matter because I use the control and the down arrow key to capture the end of the contiguous row. So that's what I want to share with you today. Thanks for joining and take care. Bye.